Hello and welcome to my magical man cave. My name is Neil Trigger, it says so down there, and I'm going to be your magical host. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this little dude. It's a book nook. Now, if you've never seen a book nook, what happens is that the books go lined up against it and it just peeks out. It does look pretty cool. The only problem with it is that if you look really closely, the eye, that is not a good eye. I mean, the moulding on it seems perfectly fine, perfectly adequate. The painting on it doesn't. In fact, it's rubbish. So in this video, I'm going to be taking this book nook and I'm going to be repainting it so that it will fit in my magical man cave. As I've already said, my magical man cave is going to be perfect. And if it's not perfect, it's not going in my magical man cave. And so being a perfectionist, I know that I can do a better paint job than this. Okay, so this is what it actually looks like. And if you zoom right in here, the paint job is definitely not as pictured. It's okay. The moulding is all right, but it's definitely going to need another paint job. And as you can see on the second eye there, it's just not been painted at all. A bit disappointed, to be honest. I think the price tag is probably about right. But here you can actually see the paint marks on the nails, which just haven't been done very well. I think the attention to detail is probably a bit lacking. And yeah, it's just definitely going to need another paint job. Hopefully I can prime this and do it myself. Now it wasn't very expensive, the link is going to be down in the description, it will be an affiliate link, so I will get a little bit of money if you do buy one. They're worth the money, I think, for what you pay for it, but just be aware that you are almost certainly going to need to paint it, because when it comes from the factory, or wherever this thing comes from, it's not painted very well. The moulding's fine, but the paint, not so much. So let's see what we can do, and it's all coming up right after this. Hi there, welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is to paint the eye white. In fact, I think I'm going to go through the whole thing and prime it all, which is a bit of a challenge, to be honest, because some of it is black, some of it has already been sort of painted. The plan for this one, I think, is going to be keeping this black mouth, change the tongue to a bright red, maybe the teeth here, a bit of a sort of yellowy, browny white probably. Uh, same thing with the nails, maybe do a bit of gradienting on there. Uh, I'm going to be painting this eye because this one hasn't been touched at all. And a bit of maybe black gum here, just like a typical dog I suppose. And I'll change this sort of orangey fur to a sort of more blue-grey. I'll also repaint the nose completely black with maybe a bit of highlighting and a nice gloss on there just to finish it off to make it a completely wet looking nose. I might also do a bit of wet coming off the fangs and things like that. I've actually only just noticed this fang here because it's so black. Uh, I might do something about that as well. Basically, give it a full on makeover. Let's do a montage, shall we? Okay, so the aim here is to get something that's going to look a little bit like this, but it's difficult when you get given something like this to make it into anything even half decent. So I started out by whiting out the eyes and the teeth. The teeth are actually whited out by grey, so that's primer. And then the gum at the bottom there was glossed over just to give it a bit of a wet look. I then added the pupil, leaving a white dot that I made with a cocktail stick and some white paint and I added another gloss coat to the gum just to make sure that it was properly wet looking. Then I went over the nails with a slightly creamy kind of colour and I filled in the irises with green. The second stage is to add a bit of gloss to the eye and colour in slight creamy colour to the eye as well, as well as lining it with red. Then colour in the tongue with sort of a blood red and then eventually go in again and highlight it with a little bit of pink which you can probably see here. I hope you can. Then I dirtied up the teeth and the nails with a succession of brown washes and I also added some detail to the iris using yellow paint. Just a quick reminder, this is what it used to look like. 
Okay, so what did you think? Here is my book nook in place. Doesn't it look beautiful? <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, please do click that like button, subscribe and ding that bell. It shows YouTube that it was a good video and there's lots of engagement and more people should see it. I'd like to give a huge shout out to these wonderful people. They're my patrons and members from Patreon and YouTube and they help me out so much every single month over on my other channel, Real Wizardry. If you want to become one of those wonderful people, head on down to the links in the description where you can sign up as a member of Real Wizardry and it will kind of affect all three channels. So I've got Magical Man Cave, Real World Magic and Real Wizardry, and it's a challenge. So your support will be very much appreciated. Also, my Magical Cocktail book is doing pretty well at the moment, and I think it's looking like it's gonna be funded. But if you want to support that, head on down to the link in the description too. It's a magical cocktail book that will give you cocktails that will look like real magic. This isn't just butterbeer recipes. Obviously they are in there as well, but things that smoke, spark, bubble, burn, fizz, colour change, there's some really, really awesome things in there. And I've been working on this for a while, so I'm very passionate about it. I probably will put out a version on Amazon, but if you want the special benefits and the limited edition, your name printed in it, signed editions, that sort of stuff, head on down to the Kickstarter and the link's down in the description, as I said. I'll be back next time with some more magical awesomeness, but until next time, as always... Great magical!